only on KPRC 2. New surveillance video showing the first robbery that led to a deadly police chase. You see the man in the video uh, demanding money at gunpoint from the store clerk. He then asks for the cash to be put into that little wastebasket trash can that you see on the counter there. Yeah, so this robbery right here was one of three crime scenes. So there are two robberies and the crash. Brittany Jeffers following the latest from the crash scene. That's in Northeast Houston. Good morning, Brittany. And good morning to you. Certainly a lot to sort through here, but as you mentioned, we are at the scene of where that fatal accident took place. Here at the intersection of Lockwood and Laura Copy. It is since cleared. That happened about an hour ago this morning. Now, police say, as you just referenced, two possible robberies at two separate locations happened prior to this accident. According to police, that initial call was about an armed robbery at a gas station along the East Tex Freeway. You just saw surveillance video from that scene, and a deputy was responsible to that call and as he was driving there he noticed a man leaving a CVS along Tidwell in a vehicle that matched the suspect vehicle description of the robbery at that gas station. Well the uh, police say that that deputy attempted to pull the car over but the driver took off uh, going on a chase eventually making their way to Lockwood at Laura Copy Road. That's when investigators say the deputy entered the intersection. There was a collision with the driver of a black vehicle. The driver inside of that car, a female, died at the scene. There were two children inside of that car as well, a five and two year old who were taken to the hospital. The deputy was also transported. We uh, spoke with a bystander who says that he and others helped to pull that deputy from a burning car. No, we've seen it. So you saw the, you saw the crash? Yeah, we've seen the crash. And then, and then you ran out of the store and did it? Yeah, we, we just said the police. You pulled, you pulled them out of the yeah, car? Yeah, all those people. All those so HPD says there were three other adults who also had minor injuries that were transported to the hospital. Now, in all of this, at this point, the suspect in this case has not been taken into custody. We're going to continue to check in with police to see if there are any leads on this. We'll continue to keep you updated. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Okay, Brittany, thank you. To more of that new surveillance video that shows how this all started, exclusive video of the initial robbery last night. It's the Exxon Mobil station, East Tex Freeway near Little York. And again, you see the man enters the mobile station. He waits for some customers to leave. And then he brings over that wastebasket, that little trash can, sets it on the counter, pulls a gun. He motions for the clerk, hey, get the money and put that money in the trash can. The worker shoves the entire cash drawer into the can. Uh, and then he brings over some other items, cigars, cigarettes, stuff the guy demanded. So then he grabs some more stuff. You see it off the counter. A customer walks in, argues with the guy, uh, but then walks out. He walks out, uh, the, ro the robber does, without hurting anyone. He's on the run right now. But again, this is the latest video into KPRC2. We'll keep you posted throughout the day.